Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dean Bostador from CDH and this is another 5 Minute Friday. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the end of support for Windows Server 2008 R2 um, and SQL 2008 R2. Uh, that happens January 14th of 2020 um, and what that means is Microsoft is no longer going to provide automatic fixes, updates, hot fixes, or online technical support for any 2008 R2 uh, Windows Server or SQL. So if you've got that stuff in your environment, you're going to want to get that stuff upgraded or migrated off to a newer version so that um, so that you're up to date. Um, so what I would suggest you do is take inventory of your current environment. Um, you can use PowerShell and connect it to your Active Directory and run like a Git AD computer with some filters and uh, identify your operating system. There's some guides out there if you Google it um, that will show you how to do that. Um, also, there's some some other tools out there that are free. Some of them are better than others. Um, Spiceworks is one of the popular ones. Um, it's free. It's also got social tools built in, um, such as forums. You can ask questions on there and they rate the answers. Um, but that tool will also serve as like a, a network scanning guide and that's free um, or you can get the paid version to remove the ads. So um, the cool thing about Spiceworks is it'll show your other software. So if you have a 2008 R2 server, you'll see that and then you can actually look and see what software is on the server. So if you've got tons and tons of servers, you're not really necessarily sure what they're for. Um, you know, you can use that to help identify them. Uh, another one is Landsweeper. Um, that, that's a good uh, product as well for doing your inventory. Um, so once you once you get your inventory, you've identified all your 2008 R2 servers, um, you need to start making a plan. Um, so see what's on the servers and you know some are gonna be easier than others. Um, some might just be you know monitoring software, IT tools, things like that that are pretty uh, low impact that you can probably just build a new server, reinstall the software and you're off and running. Um, other Others are gonna be um, a lot more impactful like uh, file servers you know you've got all those NTFS permissions and shares so you're gonna you're gonna want to use tools um, or scripts uh, to, to keep those permissions and, and shares in place Robocopies uh, commonly used to, to move large amounts of data um, there's there's something that you may run into where if your users are using Excel documents or Word documents and they're hyperlinking to other documents in the share um, and your server name changes, those links all break. Um, there's a tool out there called Link Tech Link Fixer. It's a great tool that'll help you do the file server migration and also look within the file for those, those hyperlinked, um, those hyperlinks that reference uh, files in the file server. So another one that's difficult is SQL Server. Um, with that getting to end of life, um, you're gonna wanna identify and start getting those things moved off of there. Um, it may be as simple as creating a new SQL server, detaching the database, copying the, the database files, reattaching, changing the SQL collation, and then um, going to your app servers and up updating your database connections. Or if you're using like a custom program, you know, editing your connection string to reflect your change. Um, SQL can get really complicated, um, especially if you're using data warehouses and you've got like timer jobs running that refreshes data. Um, you may have applications installed side by side with the SQL server. Um, so that, that stuff can get a little more complicated or, you know, commonly you'll see like a, a database server with, with, you know, 20 or more databases on there um, with application servers connecting to it. Maybe there's some applications installed on the SQL server. So it can be, it can be a mess. Um, so, you know, we recommend, calling us and, and having us help you. Um, whether that's helping you manage the project to make sure that you're staying on time with your upgrades um, and your migration projects. Because um, the last thing you want to do is end up in 2020 needing to update your resume because you didn't get all your servers upgraded in time and now they've got some sort of uh, malware, or some, some other vulnerability and Microsoft's not patching it and you've got to go explain to your boss that you know, you ran out of time and weren't able to do it. So we can help you manage that project. Uh, we can also do the heavy technical lifting. Um, you know, if, if you're too busy, we've got consultants. We've done these migrations over and over again for multiple companies over many years. Um, we've done very simple migrations to very extremely complicated ones. So we can we can help you. Um, we can also help train you um, so that you know how to do it. So maybe you just need someone to 
someone to come in and, and let you know how to do the upgrade, not necessarily do it for you. We can do that as well. So um, thanks everyone. Um, just wanted to make you all aware that uh, a lot of the servers are end of life and you need to start thinking about that. So thank you.